Hi everyone, Bethany here. I'm so excited you decided to stop by today because I have a fun haul from a company called Melon Rind. Now Melon Rind is a company that creates math games. Now when you hear the word math, usually it comes with a frown, especially as a homeschool mom, math is usually not my children's favorite subject, nor is it probably yours. <laughs> Melon Ride is a mom home company where she first designed these games for her own son. He understood math concepts, but he lagged in solid facts. Now most kids when they say they don't like math, it's because they're thinking about doing repetitive worksheets, memorization, and things that aren't really categorized in the fun category. Now, I am a homeschooling mom. I've been homeschooling for 10 years now, and we love to incorporate game schooling into our homeschool. And that, if you've never heard of the concept of game schooling, it's using games to learn. And I think it's a wonderful way to make math come alive and it gives you real world applications on how math is used in everyday life. So I'm gonna do an overhead opening and unboxing of these games and let me just give you a little hint, they're pretty awesome. So let's go and see them. Okay, let's open up this box and see the games inside. Look how fun these boxes are and First up, we have this one called Check the Oven. We'll go into each one with a little bit more detail in a minute, but let's just see all the ones in the box. We have Jump 3, Jump 1, Clumsy Thief Jr., and just the regular clumsy thief. Let me get these all open for you to see. And also, I will have a link in the description box to the Melon Rind website if you're interested in getting any of these games or checking out more that they have. Okay, first up, let's start with these jump games. I have the jump one and the jump three. There's also a jump two. These games help to teach adding and subtracting. So this one game is adding by one and subtracting by one. And this one is adding by threes and subtracting by threes. And the two one will be the adding in by two and subtracting by two. And these games are perfect for those that are just learning how to add and subtract. Now let me show you what is inside. I love how it has this push here tab where you push it and it opens it right up for you. You have these beautifully illustrated and colorful cards inside, directions. This is the cool and clever version where players take turns using strategy and luck to get rid of their cards. And then there is a fast and furious version for someone that's a little bit more advanced um, where everyone plays at once. And look at this, look at all the details even inside the box. This is so pretty. And these are what the cards look like inside. There are detailed instructions how to play the games online, which is excellent as a mom because there's been many times where we've had games and it took forever to figure out how to play them. So that is a big win in my opinion. But let me show you how this works. Let me mix these cards up. So we're gonna place two cards out in front we have a six and a one. So you put your two cards down and you deal out the whole entire deck. So the person across from me would get half the deck and I would get half. And then you start with five cards. And then I would put, so I have a 10, eight, five, three, and one. So I'm trying to get rid of all my cards I can put a number that is one more or one less than the six. So I have a five, so I could put that down. And I don't have anything here, but maybe my opponent here would have a card that they have a two, so they would put theirs here. So you could play it to where you, t where you take turns or have a battle, depending on 
your child. And then whoever gets rid of all their cards first is the winner. And you play jump three the same exact way, but I wanted to show you the cards inside so you could see how cute it is. I love how the boxes are decorated as well. And then here are the cards. And we have, looks like balls that this man is juggling. Now this game, check the oven. This one I think is going to be my favorite appearance wise because I love baking and cooking. Oh, look how cute this is. We have all the baking supplies and the cards. And we have some gingerbread men and cookies and pies and all the types of things that kids love. Now the way you play this game, this is a bluffing game where players collect cards that add up to 12. Some players offer the cards you need, others are bluffing. Be clever in who you trust or you may be left with a dropped pie. So with this game, you are adding to 12 to where you could use multiplication and division. So you want to collect the most sets of 12. And you start with five dealt cards. And here are the cards I have here. And I need to make a full set of 12. So I already have one set of 12. And then I have these two here. So I know that I need two to get this other set of 12. So I'm going to tell everybody I need the number two. Now if I am that other person and I have a two, I have to put it face down and offer it to the person. But if I don't have a two, I could put any card down. So I could say, well, I want to keep this set of 12. I'll give one of these away and put it down. And that person chooses what card they want to pick from the lot of how many people are playing. So they might get that number they wanted or they might get the bluff. And you need to be careful because if you end up with this broken pie card at the end, you lose points. And you get a point for every set of 12 you have in your hand by the end of the game. So this one looks like a ton of fun. Well, all these look like a ton of fun. I cannot wait to play them with my kids. And then we have the two Clumsy Thief games. We'll start with the junior one. And we have this cute, adorable raccoon. I love the garden pictures here. Okay, now with the Clumsy Thief Junior game, we have all these, oh look at, look at that. These cute cards, all with some vegetables and fruits on them. And this raccoon. And this game is adding to 10. So kids easily add to 10 using matching food to guide them. You start the game by putting three cards face down and everyone starts with seven cards. And then you need to find cards in your hand that add up to 10. So I have eight and two equal 10. And then I would take those and put them face up on the table in front of me. And then we're gonna turn over the three center cards. And I look at the pile here and see if these are any cards that I need. And you, I believe you keep adding to the stacks until you can find cards that add to 10. And raccoon cards can take any stack and these trap cards stop the raccoon. And lastly, we have the clumsy thief and this is a crazy fast paced money game. Now I feel like money is probably one of the most important math aspects that children have to learn since we all have to use it so much. And this is mastering ways to make 100. So we have the jail here where the clumsy thief is trying to break out. And we have $20 bills, 50, 45, a jail card, all kinds of different money amounts here. So you deal each player seven cards and then three facing down. And then you're gonna find two cards in your hand that add up to 100. 
And I have two right here, 50 plus 50 equals 100. And then you're gonna make stacks of 100 in front of you. Turn over the three center cards. Looks like we have the jail, $40, and 85. So this is played just like the other game. And then I'll look here and see if any of these would work for me. And then you could also take stacks from your opponent as well. The thief cards take money cards. Jail cards stop the thief. And like I said earlier, they have even more of these games on their website. I highly suggest that you check out the link down below to see all they have. I want to thank Mel and Ryan Games so much for sending me these amazing games. What game was your favorite today? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that bell. Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.